Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the torque that we get at the wheels for our Limitless build. Now our Limitless build was a 100 mile per hour build utilizing the Castle 2400 kV motor. Up on the board, we're gonna have all the specifications that we'll have to have in order to get the calculation for the theoretical amount of torque that we can get at the wheels for this vehicle. Let's start off by taking a look at the gearing. Gearing was a custom set specific for our build because of this high RPM castle motor. The 2400 kV motor was run on an 8S lithium polymer battery pack. In order to get the speed down from a very high amount down to a more realistic goal that we set, which is 100 mile per hour, we had to go and increase the amount of teeth that the spur gear had. Now, Arma did not have a tooth count that is this large within their product lineup, so we actually had to use a pinion. This is a pinion gear that has essentially been fitted onto the spool shaft in the center of the vehicle. We utilize a 22 tooth pinion gear and a 42 tooth pinion gear acting as our spur gear. And then for our differentials, we have the stock 13 tooth input as well as the 42 tooth differential. Now, if you take these two and you divide them, from one another, you're gonna get a value, and if you multiply those two values, you're gonna get a final drive ratio of 6.315 to one. This represents how many times that motor has to spin or rotate in order to get one revolution out of the wheels or the tires on the vehicle. So then we move to our castle motor. We know that it's a 2400 kV motor. I do convert this to a kV value in radians per second per volt, which is going to be equal to 251.33. The reason I do this is because it is an important step that you have to do in order to get the KT value. If you want your value to be representing the amount of Newton meters of torque that you get for every amp that you put into the system. So here we go, we take our 2400 kV, we convert it over to radians, and then we can go and take the inverse. Our KT value is gonna be simply one divided by our KV value, our KV being 251, you take one divided by that value, and here you get 0.004 Newton meters per amp. Now, another way we can represent this is by 0.00295 foot pounds per amp. Now do note, if I say pound feet or foot pounds, it's identical. It doesn't matter which one you put first here. Now the last bit of information that we do need is that max or peak current. The max or peak current in our specific run, we selected a very, very specific point in that run, and that is where we saw 305.9 amps of current. And this was at 60,000 800 RPM or 9628 RPM at the wheels. This year, not super important for now, but we will come back to use this later. Now the big equation for us to actually get the torque at the wheels is going to be simply broken down to the motor gear ratio, which is utilizing this here, multiplied by the differential gear ratio, which is utilizing that differential part right there, multiplied by our KT value, which is going to be one of these values, and then you multiply it by the current, which is right here, and then we can take an efficiency factor into the equation as well. So an efficiency, this does depend on the load of the motor. We're gonna use, for argument's sake, 80%, which is going to be 0.8. Now we sub all those numbers in, 42 divided by 22 is gonna give us the gear ratio there at the motor, and then 43 divided by 13. You take both of those values, and like we said, we're gonna get 6.315. So we take 6.315, we multiply by our KT of 0 0.004 and our current of 305.9 as well as our 0 0.8 efficiency factor and that's where we get a 6.18 Newton meters of torque coming at the wheels of our Arma Limitless. Now if we do represent this differently in our pound feet or foot pounds units there, all we did is take this value and replace it for our KT value here, we get 4.56 foot pounds of torque. Now when you take that into consideration, that's quite a bit of torque that you're getting 
at the wheels, especially since we know those wheels are rotating very, very quickly. And we have that right here at 9,628 RPM. 4.56 foot-pounds of torque is definitely a large number for a radio-controlled car. But do remember that this is only a split second that you're going to see this amount of torque being output by the system. Once we hit top speed, the motor just needs to handle the load created by air drag, rolling resistance, and all these other resistances. It no longer needs to accelerate the car, reducing the amount of power required there and torque required ultimately at the wheel. So now the next equation I threw in here because a lot of us would recognize horsepower and we can talk a little bit about that as well. So the power at the wheels, we know that the formula here, and if you are a car guy, you will recognize this formula, RPM times the torque divided by 5252. That's the factor that's going to make all the units make sense. And that, if you plug all the numbers in, 9,628 RPM, because we are talking about at the wheels, multiplied by the 4.56 foot-pounds at the wheels, divided by our factor here is going to give you 8.36 horsepower. And keep in mind, we already included our efficiency factor here, so we're essentially using the same efficiency of 80% to arrive at the 8.36 horsepower. A lot of horsepower being produced by these small electric motors that are in our radio control vehicles. So there you have it. That's the amount of torque and power that the Limitless is putting out even at a small-ish amount of speed at that 100 mile per hour mark. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found a small appreciation for the amount of power that is in our radio control vehicles. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.